Welcome to Automotive Reviews TV. Today we bring you an in-depth look at one of the most mysterious and controversial fighter jets in the modern world. The Iranian Quahair 313. Known as the Conqueror 313, this aircraft has gained massive attention since it was first revealed by Iran in 2013. With bold claims of stealth capability, modern avionics and indigenous production, the Kahir 314 stands at the center of global speculation and debate. So let's dive into its design, performance, interior, and the big question everyone asks. How real is this jet? And what might its cost be? The Shahir 3113 is marketed as a fifth generation stealth fighter, designed and developed by the Iranian Aviation Industries Organization. Its structure is unlike anything seen from Iran before. The first thing that catches the eye is its compact, futuristic design. It has a low radar cross section, which Iran claims gives it stealth ability similar to the American F 22 or the F 35. The angular shape, twin tail fins, and sharp nose point towards stealth technology, but aviation experts around the world have doubted whether it actually possesses the materials and engine systems required for true stealth performance. When looking at the performance, Iran has not released full technical specifications, which raises many eyebrows. According to Iranian defense sources, the Kahir 313 is capable of carrying a small payload of smart bombs and guided missiles. It supposedly features short takeoff and landing capabilities and is equipped with advanced radar and electronic warfare systems. However, footage released so far only shows a prototype flying at low altitude and low speed, making it unclear whether the aircraft has full combat capability. The aircraft seems light and agile, more suitable for light attack and training missions rather than full-scale air superiority roles. Some analysts even suggest it may use a modified engine from older jets like the Northrop F5 moving into the cockpit and interior of the Kahir 313. The design seems relatively simple when compared to Western fighter jets. Inside the cockpit, we see analog style dials and a basic multifunction display. The space is compact, and some critics say the design looks more like that of a mock up than a fully functional fighter. Still, Iran claims the avionics are locally developed and support modern targeting and navigation systems. One unique point is that the pilot's visibility is extremely wide thanks to a large bubble canopy. If real, this could be an advantage during dogfights and low altitude missions. As for pricing, there's no official cost released for the Kahir 3113. But given that it is claimed to be fully manufactured in Iran with domestic components, it is expected to be far cheaper than Western stealth jets. The cost might be estimated in the range of $25 to $35 million per unit, significantly less than the $80 million F-35. However, it's essential to consider that lower cost also comes with a trade-off in terms of performance, reliability, and advanced tech integration. If Iran does mass produce it, the affordability might make it attractive for its own forces and potentially for export to nations with limited defense budgets. Public reaction to the Kahir 313 has been mixed. Inside Iran, it is hailed as a symbol of self-reliance and technological advancement, a point of national pride. On the global stage, however, Military experts, journalists, and engineers have questioned its authenticity. Many say it lacks the engines, air intakes, and aerodynamic feasibility to fly as claimed. Still, whether it's a functioning stealth, fighter or not, the Kahir 313 sends a message that Iran is investing heavily in building its own defense technology, whether symbolic or real. In conclusion, the Iranian Kahir 313 remains an aircraft shrouded in mystery and controversy. It's a blend of ambition, symbolism, and possible experimentation. Whether it ever becomes a frontline fighter or not, it has already achieved something. Important, putting Iranian aerospace capability into the global spotlight and sparking conversations around innovation, propaganda, and military strategy. Thank you for watching this detailed breakdown on the Iranian Quahir 3113 fighter jet. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Automotive Reviews TV. Let us know in the CE uh, comments, do you think the Kahir 3113 is the real deal or just a symbol of something bigger? See you in the next video.